Which top university gives you the highest acceptance rate for computer science? At 12%, it is UCL, nearly three times the acceptance rate of Oxford and about double the acceptance rate of Cambridge. But it still has a 2A star A offer with an A required in maths and the vast majority of candidates will have three A stars when applying. In addition to this, UCL also has their new STAT test, new for applicants this year, which means you might have to be doing the TMUA for Cambridge and or Imperial, the MAT if you're applying to Oxford, and the STAT. It's a lot of admissions tests. It's not really very fair, is it? But my number one tip is to prepare for these admissions tests. Given that the vast majority of candidates will have three A stars, it is imperative that you put at least three months into preparing to smash all of these tests. It will be the deciding factor, not your A-level grades, which are the minimum requirement to be considered for a course such as this. Now, tip number two is if you are doing the TMUA for Imperial and or Cambridge, then do that early and put that into your application if you can. By getting a top score above seven, putting you in the top 10% of test takers, you really mark yourself out as a top test taker. Having high GCSEs, particularly in quantitative subjects, is helpful, as well as any additional uh, successes you have, such as the UK Maths Challenge. These things really are looked at by UCL. My next tip is to learn an object-oriented language, the most common of which is probably Python. Self-studying a language above what you have learned at school is a fantastic way to show that you are a dedicated, hard-working student. I've had amazing applicants write about uh, HTML and CSS and basic JavaScript and how they've got websites online. I've had others go in a more creative direction, perhaps, and talk about Game Maker Unity or the free Godot, what games they've created and how they've learned the data structures needed in order to get their inventory systems. Really interesting stuff in the personal statement that shows they understand the core architectures behind computer science. If in doubt, I also recommend Haskell, a lesser known computer language, but it's often used in undergraduate courses. And if you can show that you've already put a few months or even years learning this language, you'll have a huge advantage over other candidates because it will sound like you've already studied some of the first year course. My next tip is to keep it academic. 70% of your personal statement should be focusing on the academic element of computer science. So avoid that noob trap of just talking about AI as exciting as it is because you might end up waffling about what Elon Musk has done and not the academic, conceptual understanding of what computer science as a degree really entails. If you want to understand the five key pillars of any personal statement, you can get your exemplar statement in your inbox by clicking on the link in the description below. This is me writing what I, from my 10 years of experience and 92% acceptance rate of helping students get first and or second offer, all of the tips I have learned, I've put into just five pillars. There's even exemplar there to see the standard you need to have the highest chance of getting into such a competitive course. My penultimate tip is to look at free online courses in computer science. MIT has these amazing offerings, and how good is it to get a brand such as MIT on your personal statement and potentially in your reference too? Which takes me to the final tip, which is to identify your referee. Talk to them about the readings, the courses, and the languages that you have studied in preparation and make sure that they are writing a glowing endorsement because your reference is often looked at before and often weighted even higher than your personal statement. Now, that's just a tiny handful of the tens of tips that we give our premium clients to help them with that 92% acceptance rate of their first or second choice. If you found this helpful, please, please do like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel, of course, and write a comment if you've got any specific questions. I love seeing the questions and having to think about how I can help additional people through those. It might well help another applicant too if I'm answering your question. Lastly, if you want to 9x your chances of getting an offer onto this course, please do consider contacting us using the information on screen now and in the description below for a no commitment expert consultation, talking to one of my team about your chances and how we might be able to help supercharge those. 
most importantly, good luck.